Hi, y'all. All right. Let's see. Yep, everything's working. Hello, hello. Y'all ready for some Bow Tuesday? I'm ready. So we're going to do a little bit more than just bows tonight. Let's get that sucker. All right. So this is our actual bow for tonight, our bow set. It's a little doggy one. So it has the little paws with some black and then black and white polka dots and then white. Yes, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Okay. But I thought it would be fun if we did some bows and did some bows just on some signs. Because I think it's been a really long time since we did something like that. So, I thought that would be fun. Something a little different. Okay. Let me get y'all situated down here. I think that's good. Okay. So I grabbed some signs. This one is um, welcome-ish. Depends on depends on how long you're staying. That's what it says. But what I look for if I'm gonna do a sign like what I'm talking about. Yes, see, it's easier. I look for something that has a little bit of space at top, like this. Okay, like this one. See, this one has the welcome. I grabbed this ribbon to go with that. See how well that works. See how it has the space up at the top? So it's really easy to do um, little bows with signs like this. Hey, Mama. The wine bar one, it has little space up here. And we have, of course, a couple different kinds of little wine ribbon. And then we have the dog one. So this one says... Welcome-ish, depends on if you like pets. So, we'll probably put a version of our bow on this one. So what I normally do, if I'm gonna do this with a sign, is I'm gonna kind of, they're saying, hey CC, I'm gonna kind of go on both edges, kind of right around so like right here and right here and one thing you can use is your oh you're on there is your binding wire so see I can take my binding wire and then I could just twist it on just like that I know right I love the wine bar too See, because this is wire, but it's covered wire. I think I made this a little bit bigger. So like that. You see that? There we go. We don't need this much. So this one is a 10-inch sign. These are 12-inch signs. So we're going to look kind of at the difference. I love the wine bar. And these are really, really great to do with round signs. Because they're just kind of perfect, right? For hanging on the door and stuff like that. Okay. So this one, I'm going to want to do a little bit farther, like here and here. So like right here. Then come across about right here isn't that cool it looks like a little barrel doesn't it I love that and then we'll take a little bit more bind wire look I fixed my bind wire <laughs> CC and I were laughing about that about how many times I have lectured people about not doing that and then I immediately do it I still can't believe I did that <laughs> Yes, the signs are in our shop. They're also listed in the description. Okay. Yeah, the thing that we make the most of here is signs. We are sign fanatics here. 
You see how nice this wire looks? It's just very unobtrusive. Hello, hello, y'all. There we go. See how cute that is? So you can hang them. It can be a door hanger. So let's do our bow, and then I'm going to show you the different kinds of little uh, bows you can do with these. Okay, so we'll start off with our big bow. So usually if I'm going to do a bow on something like this, I'm going to do a smaller bow. But there are different things you can do. Okay. Oh, and y'all look, my, uh, where'd I put it? My colored cellophane came in, so now we can play some more with candy. So we'll have to do that someday this week. So let's do like, maybe like an eight inch. Oh, do you like my shirt? <laughs> So a little eight inch tail, and then we'll do six inch. Six inch. Okay, six again. Again, and one more time. So three loops. <laughs> it doesn't take long for her. We've run around a little bit today. Play with candy. Oh. So I came on and made some candy bouquets the other day. And so I was waiting for some of my cellophane paper to come in so I could kind of show some more little fun designs. Let's see, and I'll see what I'm doing there. Yeah. So we're going to do some of that. We're also going to make a um, supply tower for teachers. Okay. I want to break up in between. So see how we have a lot of black, black, black. So I'm going to break up with some of the white. I know you want to eat some candy. <laughs> We all want to eat some candy. Okay. So we'll do two of this. This is six inches. I got the cellophane from um, Amazon, but you can get it from packaging stores. You can get it from Amazon, Walmart. Sometimes Walmart has the color and sometimes it doesn't. Let's do one of this. There. Just like that. There. Now I want to do... And if I didn't say, this is our bow set. Yes, tomorrow is the day to get cheap candy. And then we're going to see how to play with it. <laughs> I have a lot of different designs we can actually do. I was showing some to Cece. I showed her my, y'all, I showed her my guitar. It she was liked so cool it. Too. She liked the guitar. So I just put the white here to break up the black again so that when I put this down it doesn't kind of sink into the bottom. What are they telling you to do? Eat the candy. <laughs> oh, she's not supposed to be eating anything. Well, is it sticky or is it? 
sticky with nuts and all that kind yeah, of Yeah, she can't have that. <laughs> she just had dental work, so she has to behave. Poor Cece. My favorite candies, and I can't even eat them. I know, I'm sorry. They, got nut, hazelnuts. they do have hazelnuts. We did have a little bit of candy today, though, that she could have. Yeah, we have one of those little, um, you know, the little eggs they come out with at Easter time? Yes, happy Valentine's. All right, so I'm going to. Use the last little bit of the white. So I'm going to say goodnight to Rob, who's just like John. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here. Chocolate does melt. Okay. As long as you keep it in, you know, room temperature, it's fine. All right. So this is our big bow. Isn't that pretty? So we did three, two, one, two, two, one. That's what we did. I tell you what, though, it's really fun and pretty to do the little bouquet things. Even if you don't like to eat candy, it's just fun to get them because they're different. And You can place the wider ribbon on top of the thinner ribbon. Absolutely. There is no rules. And sometimes we do because we want to have our focal ribbon up at the top, which in this case, our focal ribbon is this. Okay. Do you see how that ribbon wanted to move because I wasn't holding on to it? Don't do what I did. Oh, I love chocolate strawberries, too. I love those edible arrangement things. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. So yummy. Okay. So we'll put our little pipe cleaner through here. There we go. Aren't they pretty? There is no rule that says you can't do something, right? You get to do it whichever way you want to do it. Not the way I do it or the way somebody else does it, but the way you want it to look. That's how you do it. We do not have, we just have like a single ribbon. We do have a wine um, sign of ribbon set right now, but it's not this one. It's a different one. It's actually a stained glass one that we have a sign set for. There we go. Oh, look how pretty. So let's run our little tails down. Okay. Now we're all craving chocolate strawberries, right? Yeah, I know it. Okay, now look at this. So you can put the bow. So usually what I do, if I'm going to do something like this, is I'll take this and I'll twist a little piece like that. So there's where my hanger is. And then I'll take this and I will tie my bow right below where the hanger is. I even run one of my pipe cleaners through that little hole and then tie it and that's going to ensure that that's going to stay above that my bow will stay in place and stay above or below where my little hanger is. Just like that. Alright, so this is one way to do it. Then I just trim it off 
and tuck it back up behind the hanger. So see where the hanger is right there? See, and then you can still see the sign. So, and if it is kind of hanging down a little bit, you can just trim off anything that's hanging over. I actually cut that the wrong way. Like that. Needs to go this way. No, I did it wrong. <laughs> it's because I'm looking at it upside down. Okay. Like this. That's why we keep them kind of short because you don't want it to go over. There we go. There. See? And then when you hang it, See, and then it's easy, right? Didn't take us very long to do this project. And it's great because you want things like this um, in your house. And if you sell stuff, then you want to have, you know, simple, easy things like this. Not everybody has a giant door. Sometimes people want things in their office. So this is a really great thing that you can put in your office. Thank you. So, yeah. Thank you. All right. So, we got this one. Look how cute that is. All right. Now, let me show you how you can take a lot less ribbon. Okay. And just put it like in the corner. Okay, so what I usually do for this is I'm going to do like little 8 inch pieces. I love M&M's. So let's do like three let's see how it looks. You want to dovetail these. This is a super simple bow. Okay, so for this bow, we're going to kind of arrange it a little bit differently. zoom in a little bit for this one. Okay. Okay. I wish she did, but she lives too far from me. She's in Oregon and I am in South Carolina. I keep trying to get her down here though. Her and Casey. One day, hopefully. <laughs> One day I can get them here. Okay. Now. You just kind of lay them like this. You really kind of want to kind of move them all around. And then usually what I do is I'll pinch it, pick it up, pinch it in the middle. I just get my pattern, pick them up, okay, 
this one went over here. You can also put them in your bow maker. So we're going to be doing a couple of these, so I'll show you when we get to the next one. Well, thank you. That's so sweet. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's all we care about. This one I want to go. So I'm just pinching them like that. Okay. So it's very important that you have a middle section. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Now you just kind of fluff them out, make sure they're kind of going in all different directions. There. Now we used to call this the scrappy bow, but I, I mean, a lot of different people call it a lot of different things, but it's kind of like a scrappy bow. Oh, let me open y'all up a little bit. See that? Like that. Okay, now let's take this one. Let's take our hole punch. Make our little holes. Not right there. Okay. Let's get our bind wire. Put it through there, see it fits fine when you use your little it does. But it's really great. You have orders now? Awesome! You go! Okay. Scooby-Doo. I like that. <laughs> Let's call it the Scooby-Doo. That's awesome. <laughs> I, I mean, I call it that because I used to use scrap pieces of ribbon. So we take this. You can either run it through the same hole or you can actually put it like right here. So sometimes what I'll do is put an additional couple little holes very close to each other. And then I'll take this wire. Run it through those little holes. And then you can make sure you get it where you want it to be. <laughs> yeah, that worked. I thought that was funny. So we have it here on the side. You could put it in the middle. Isn't that cute? So like, let's do this one and let's put the bow in the middle. So we'll just punch two little holes pretty close together. Let's see, which one do we want to use? Grapes or glasses? What do you feel like? Grapes or glasses? Grapes. Grapes. I haven't seen the grape one. Okay. Oh, there are signs. We made them. We designed our own signs. So, we designed them. 
All right, so let's do the same thing. So eight. We probably won't have to do as many because it's a larger ribbon and we're just gonna do that one. All right, now let me show you in the bow maker. So this ribbon is RGC 13465X. So if you're looking for that ribbon. Okay. So you take, pinch, place it down. So we're just going to place them down kind of as much as we can, kind of moving them around like that. I don't use a zip tie with these because you don't want a thick little piece in between here. You really want it to be thinner so that you can spread them out a little bit easier. Hello. How are you? Okay. We haven't had snow. It's freaking hot here, y'all. Too hot. I'm just we over snow. it. I well, I don't have any snow. I don't want to. I don't want to discuss it. She came here with her oh. snow. She didn't bring any with her. I brought my jacket. She brought her jacket, and she won't even need it. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I like to do all different ribbons. Sometimes I like to do just one ribbon. It just depends. So we can just use this little scrap here. Just run it underneath our little. So if you ever use the bow dabber, it's kind of like using bow dabber wire. It's that really thin kind of there. See how you can just move it around like that. Isn't that cute? These are really great for um, like gifts and things like that. And what's great is, let's fold this up there right now. Let me show you one little extra thing. No, I wish, but you can. Put a little greenery in it. Just right behind here. I'm just kinda tie a couple pieces on right below it. That's a 12-inch sign? Yep. There. And then it's going to go on the sign in the middle here, so this will help hold that down as well. But of course, like anything else, you can always add more greenery to it. Just glue them in in between the little layers. Like that. Look how stinking cute that is. Look at that. So this is a different look. It has a little greenery in it. If you had grapes, you could have a little grape hanging down. But you could take some of this greenery stuff. They sell grape leaves, too. They do sell grape leaves. And you can just kind of glue them right in between here. Look how cute that is. Look at that. How cute is that? I love having um, mixed bushes. 
eight inches. They're all eight inches. But look how cute that is. And then boom, you have something to sell. So you see how quick that was? And it didn't use as many supplies, right? So one roll of this would do a whole bunch of these. Isn't that cute? All right, let's do this one. All right, so for this one, let's do our little thing for the hanger. Okay, I think we'll probably do a middle bow again. Okay, and if you do it this way, then you can change out the ribbon. Like sometimes, so these signs are not going to fade, okay? They're sublimation signs. They're UV coated. They're not going to fade. But after a while, like maybe after a year or two, the ribbon's going to fade. If you have the little holes in here, take that ribbon out, put new ribbon in. The signs will last for a very long time. Very long. And since they're sublimation, you can't scratch you can't scratch it off see it's not like vinyl or anything like that it is actually bonded with the coating that's on the sign I love this sign right I do too okay okay so by putting the wire a little bit wider like this it prevents the sign from flipping forward so sublimation is a process where you take um, sublimation designs that you create and you print them onto a sublimation printer and then you um, heat press them onto polyester so it has to adhere to polyester so whatever the Thing that you're using has to be coated in polyester. All right, so for this one, let's do like a little, a little bow here. So when I'm doing a, an actual bow for these, I will do pretty small loops. See, like that. So that's a two and a half inch loop. You don't have to twist and turn it. Okay. So what I'm doing is on this side, I'm coming across like that. Then you can do one in the middle. Oh, I think Dawn did um, email the person. So make sure you're checking your email to see if you got a... I wanna put this one up top. So I just kinda move it, or I can move the one in the middle up top. Either way. Let's get some more. All right, now when you're using wire, this is the trick, okay? So when I'm using wire and I'm not gonna be using any um, zip ties, this is how I do it, okay? You hold the wire in the back, you hold the wire, and you twist it. So I would probably charge um, like between $25 and $35 for these, depending on how much I put on them. Are there any retreat tickets left? 
There is one retreat ticket left. Because we had a, um, somebody who had to convert to... Uh, but you have to email me to get it. Because we didn't relist it. We just... We're waiting. Okay. See how cute that little bow is? So we did two loops and then one in the center. So all I did is pull up one of the loops. We just did three loops on each side and then I just pulled up one of the loops. You can do this on the bow maker. Hold on, let me put this on and I'll show you how to do it on the bow maker. Just because I do it by hand doesn't mean a thing. You can still do it with your bow maker. I don't usually do a whole lot with my hands because then my hands hurt. Sometimes I'll just do it because sometimes it's faster. But look how stinking cute that is. Look. It is adorable. <laughs> and I want to tell you what, these things sell pretty fast when you are taking them to places. Because these can go so many places. They can go in your kitchen. They can go in your bathroom. They can go, you know, on your door. They can go in your office. And, y'all, if you're selling stuff, make sure you're taking pictures of it in different places so that people have an idea of where they can use it. Don't just take a picture on your door. Okay? Take a picture on the door in your kitchen. Take a picture in your kitchen. Take a picture... Anywhere you can think of. Use those pictures they, slots they give you for pictures. See, now we didn't just do bows. Stinking adorable. Okay. Let me show you how we did that one right there. Let's do it on the bow maker. So we did the just in case you're a hand maker, we did it in our hand. We did that one in our hand. We did this one on the bow maker, so let's do this one on the bow maker. So it's a small, like little three inch tail. So twist. I would just leave the tail out here for right now. Then I would go to about two and a half. two and a half just like that now if you have really small zip ties like this you can use these they'll work okay um, but you want things that are super slim if you're going to be do them on here. Yeah, glue a magnet and put it on the fridge. Oh, they have um, paint now that you can paint on and it makes things magnetic. You could do that too. Okay, then just trim it off there. Okay, pull our little wire. Slip it underneath. We can still use it to pull the bow out. Now remember, when you're using wire, hold the wire, twist the bow. Oh yeah, the hair bow stuff. Yeah. I got the stuff in. Yep, magnetic paint. I've got to find my um, non-wired ribbon. That's why we haven't done it yet. But I did get the clips in that I used to use. See? Same exact bow. Just sit it on the bow maker. See, there you go. See? These are the clips. 
So these are um, barrette nickel. Now you can get a bigger. But when I was making them, I was making them for my niece. And she was small. But you can get them bigger. See, and then what you do is you glue the bow onto the barrette. Like that. See it? But you wouldn't want to use this because the wired ribbon, it, um, it will actually, it can poke them. So that's why we don't use the wired ribbon. But yeah, we'll do some of these. We'll do them sometime this week. I've just got to find my... This is um, bind wire. So it's basically like the 26 gauge wire that we usually use. It's just that it's wrapped. Can you see how it's wrapped? So our bow makers are supposed to be on the way. Um, it's probably going to be, it might be next week before we get these in, but we are getting more of them. Oh, and uh, we haven't picked the winner of the bow maker yet, so make sure you join to win one. It's, um, you text the word winner, W-I-N-N-E-R, and you text it to 864-465-8444. And then you can try to win one, because we're giving one away. Yeah, yeah. And I still have to send Z1. So, but it can't be in pink. <laughs> All right, what'd y'all think? Did you like it? Let's kind of look at what we made. Oh, gracious. I'm going to tell you that, that kind of. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we did, you have to tell me which one's your favorite. We did the welcome with the um, leopard print. I like this. Look, it matches my shirt. <laughs> then we did the pet one. See that? Or actually, that one's don't stay too long. Then we did the wine one. Okay. And we did three different kinds of bows. And we did, this is the pet one. See, with the dog bow. Yeah, this is definitely dog bow. Awesome! The wine one, I like that one too. I like that one too. Tomorrow night we're gonna be doing um, something with, oh, let me show you. They're saying that Seth is over. Huh? They're saying the drawing's over. Oh, it is? I, didn't, I know we haven't picked something yet. All right, so this is a 20 inch ring. All right, so it's smaller than our normal one. We used some of these last year. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the bottom, and one, two, three, four, five, six on the top. We're gonna use this with one roll of mesh and make a cute wreath. So um, I have two different sign and ribbon sets that I'll kind of suggest can go with it. One is a strawberry, which we just listed today, and the other one is patriotic, and it's a red, white, and blue butterfly, so it's really pretty, but I'll show you both tomorrow. So, oh lordy, already hot. <laughs> it's 864-465-8444. Um, it's also the number that we use to send out alerts for when we're going live. So if you want that, you just put in the word live. Okay. All right, y'all. Um, I, get, I get a lot of my sublimation blanks from China. 
but if I'm going to order them online, I usually go to um, Digital Graphics has them. Oh, and Deco Exchange has the round ones. Yep. Oh, cool. All right, y'all. We all have a great night, and I will see you guys tomorrow.